Hey guys, I want to talk a little bit about the fuel tank on the Angel. Um, we take these fuel tanks and we modify them slightly. We put a breather valve up here and what this does is it prevents the fuel from coming out of the fuel tank when you go upside down if you lay down flat. So you can see I have this filled with water. I turn it upside down and none of the water comes out. Because when pilots fall on their face, the tank will be like this and a lot of the way that other fuel tanks are made on other frames is they have a hose, a clip hose that comes up and it goes up really high and that's how the fuel tank is allowed to breathe but the problem with that is when you actually lay down the fuel spills out and it usually where that end of the hose is is right up on your harness so this one the where you fill the tank it's on the back of the tank so you can access it from the back on the prop side of the frame. You don't have to come in where the harness is and use a funnel or anything like that. And when you fall, or I see a lot of people when they put their paramotors on, they will put it up on the back of a pickup truck or and, and they'll kind of slide it back like this or when they're putting it away they'll slide it, they'll walk over to their truck and they'll slide it in their truck like this backwards and then as soon as it goes horizontal it'll spill fuel on their harness. So I've actually sold a couple harnesses to people just because they spill fuel on them, either falling down or their motor falling over out in the field and spilling fuel on it, or them sliding it in the back of their truck and just sitting there and, and the fuel coming out of the hose. So this one has this little breather valve. It's more convenient because it's not in the way. There's, there's no extra tube going around. And most importantly, it prevents water from fuel from coming out. Uh, another thing regarding this this tank and its position is on this is the same tank as the flat top and the difference is the flat top mounts straight on the ground and we mount it elevated off the ground about three inches and I did that because it brings the fuel tank up higher away from your feet and away from the prop and it also brings the center of gravity closer to the core of the pilot but I've seen a lot of discussion online about the crumple zone and having a fuel tank where the crumple zone is. I never agreed with the, the counter argument of, you know, you're gonna crush the fuel tank and that's what makes it dangerous. If the fuel, the fuel tank is very sturdy, it's very tough. If it does get crushed in the crumple zone, it could rupture, I guess, and, and spill fuel out, but it's not gonna explode like, like a lot of people say it would. It's not gonna prevent the crumple zone from, from working, but a lot of people say the fuel tank will actually just like burst and I don't know, explode. And I, I, it's, I think it's just one of those arguments that everybody has against the flat top. But anyways, on the Angel, we raised it off the ground. Um, for the kicking reason, for the fuel tank not being on the ground, closer center of gravity, further away from the prop. And um, let's just go ahead and do a drop test and see if this thing does explode. I'm gonna drop it from about seven, eight feet, uh, as high as I can reach. And uh, we'll see if it blows up or ruptures. I was expecting not to, for that not to happen. All right, let me throw it up. Exploding fuel tank theory. Let's go. It's not leaking or nothing, right? Let's go a little higher. All right. So that kind of solves that one. My neighbors over there looking at me trying to figure out why I'm throwing a fuel tank in the air.